fast, keep the text coming. Finally tonight, as Sir Trevor McDonald was so fond of saying, it's real quality. Steve, USS Cunningham, on Saturday night in Brandenburg, Germany, he fights Troy Ross for the vacant IBF cruiserweight title. Ringside will be the division's new star, Captain Hook, that's Marco Hook. Cunningham stopped Hook in a world title fight in 2007. You see where I'm going with this. Cunningham also lost a disputed and controversial split decision to Thomas Adamek in a cruiserweight world title fight in December 2008. Adamek right now is waiting for his world heavyweight title call-up from either a Hay or a Klitschko. Trust me, he is. Anyway, Cunningham knows he needs to win to stay in contention for much, much Bigger things, and I'm delighted to say that Steve Cunningham joins us on the line from Germany. Germany now, Steve, welcome to the show. Hey, thanks for having me, Steve. You're close to this fight, and on paper, it's just another <laughs> world title fight, and you've had lots of them. But you realise just how important this is, how you have to win and win good to stay on track. Yeah. Um Basically, that's it. Win and win good. Uh, get the belt back <clears throat> and reposition ourselves um, officially at the top of the cruiserweight division, um, and 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 just continue to dominate, dominate until you know uh, other options are available. But winning tomorrow is this is the biggest move in my um, biggest win in my career. You know, this this is the biggest fight. It has to be the biggest win, and uh, we believe we're going to be two-time champion again. Now, of course. What's what could happen is you could have a fight against Marco Hook. You've already beaten him, but since then he's been on a great run. He's now the champion and a big star in Germany. Is that a fight that you think will happen before the end of this year, or are you looking elsewhere? Um, yeah, that's possible. You know, that's highly possible. Um, you also got um Shistoff Ladarczyk, who's who my beat, who has the WBC belt. Uh, you know, that's another possible of um possible possible bout hmm. but you know it all hinges on me winning uh saturday so i um i don't have any plans beyond troy ross right now and, and that, totally it's just strictly troy ross beating troy ross and that's the way it should be now craig well, one of the one of the uh, guys that sent an email to the show he wants to know if you're considering following a darmek up to heavyweight where there's lots of money and also you could get a rematch with him. Is that something that you've considered and you've talked to your coach, Nassim Richardson, about, Steve? Well, uh, first of all, you know, me me just going up to heavyweight just to get a rematch with Adamic, that's not my goal. You know, mm -hmm. um, Adamic doesn't um, solidify my career, you know. Sure. Um, me, me, me having to fight him doesn't make or break my career. Gotcha. Um, if I went up to heavyweight, it would totally be for me, you know. Um, he had his opportunity to 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 do the rematch, you know, um, when I became I guess cruiserweight number one uh, contender, uh, but you know he chose to go up. So, you know, I don't I don't I don't plan on going up the heavyweight anytime soon. So I mean I, I got a lot of business to take care of here in the cruiserweight division, and you know that's the future. So I just still got some work to do. Yeah, it's it's good that you say it that way. Are you big enough in you know uh, Are you big enough, Steve? To be a heavyweight, um, you know, I know that physically you could be, but you know, you know what I'm saying. You've sparred with heavyweights, you've worked with heavyweights. In your mind, could you become a heavyweight <clears throat> if you wanted to? Um, yeah, yeah, I could, I could if I wanted to. It'd take, you know, uh, getting a good physical trainer, mm. um, putting the, putting the muscle on instead of just you know eating to sure. make the weight. Um, I see myself getting. I wouldn't go up too big though, you know, probably two under two ten. But other than that. Uh, yeah, I, of course, I see me being able to hold hold that that type of weight. Yeah, and that, and that is the only way to do it. Now, 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 Steve, you've been fairly inactive. You know, you fight once, you fight again. Um, what's been the main reasons for that, Steve? Have there been injuries? No, no injuries. Just promotional situations. You know, um, you know, I was I was promoted with Don King, and uh, you know, uh, he doesn't put on a lot of shows. And Things happen. You look at it. Look at his resume and all of the champions that he has. They, they're fighting once a year. Some of them guys haven't fought in two years. So, yeah. um, I fell under that category, man. And and truthfully, that that motivated us to move on. You know, we wanted to. You know, this is. You know, this is the um twilight of my career. This is the. Well, I feel I'm 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 just at the top, getting to the peak of my my skills. 
um, I haven't seen the best of me yet, and the world hasn't seen the best of me yet. So I don't feel I'm even at the peak right now. But, uh, you know, still I am 33, and I, I want to just get this career moving, fight as often as I can, you know. So moving to a new promoter, which is Solomon Promotions, and we see how they promote here in they're Europe. They're busy, man. And, um, and even in America, they do some shows. So they, they do a great job, and it was, a, it was a good decision on our part. Yeah, listen, Steve, good luck this weekend. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Right, Give my you. regards to brother Nazim for me, and uh, we'll right, speak to no you problem. again. Steve, All right, thank you very much. My pleasure. Steve USS Cunningham there. He's been in some cracking fights. If you have access to a website, look at his record on Box Reckon. He's a nice guy. He's a good guy. He's one of the good guys. Let's hope he gets a bit of success.